Alpha Houston on space to ground one for Don. Um, we're ready for your downlink. Okay, I'm going to hit play. <laughs> I'm Don Pettit. I was fortunate enough to be science officer on Expedition 6 to the International Space Station. And during this expedition, we had several kinds of science that we did. We did programmatic science, which is well-planned and well-thought-out science. It comes up from the ground and is orchestrated from the ground. And then we have science of opportunity. And this is science that is done at the discretion of the scientists on board space station. And this is kind of the discovery science. And during our mission, we called our science of opportunity Saturday morning science. Let's look at gyroscopic stabilized platforms. And what we see here is one of our space station uh, compact disc players, one of our CD players that we use for listening to music with. Now we're going to turn it on and watch what happens. And it's got a CD in there and it's going to spin up. So while it's spinning up, it starts to rotate the opposite direction. Then once it reaches steady state motion, it just sits there. And now look, when you push on it, it's uh, spin stabilized from a gyroscope inside uh, out of the compact disc. And just the rotating uh, uh, compact disc inside of the player uh, adds a fair amount of gyroscopic stabilization. As you can see, the difference here between one of the discs that is turned on and one, one of the, the players uh, that is turned off. And the one that's turned off will tumble end over end, and the one that's turned on has this gyroscopic stability, and it tends to maintain its attitude. And it, it's amazing that a spinning CD uh, provides enough of uh, uh, enough stability to to uh, uh, show this kind of behavior. So, being an engineer type, uh, what can you do with these things? Well, realize that there's three crew members on space station, and we each have one of these uh, CD players. So, the next thing you do is you take two of these CD players and you tape them together and you make a two-axis stabilized platform. And here you can see the CD players are turned off and there's no stability. And now, uh, let's look what happens when the CD players are turned on. Now, now these guys are turned on and, and look what kind of stability we have. Still oscillates a little bit. We end up having a platform which has uh, more stability than just a single CD player. But wait, if you have three CD players, the next uh, thing that you'd think about is let's make a 3D stabilized gyroscopic platform. So here you see all three of our space station tape players all taped together at 90 degrees. And when they're turned off, you can see the thing just freely tumbles end over end. There's no stability. But now we see it with all three tape players turned on, and we have a fairly stable, gyroscopically uh, stabilized platform here with uh, using all three of our space station CD players. It's still not quite as stable as I would like. Uh, however, uh, I'm, I'm not complaining because it's just... Uh, from a spin and CD, it still has uh, some of these little oscillations, as you can see as you're pushing on it off axis from the, the, the CG of the, of the unit. So again, being good engineers, what could we use this for? And so what we came up with is you tape your flashlight to your CD player platform, you turn your CD player platform on, you put your headphones on so you can listen to music, now you get your, your uh, drill driver out, and you can uh, uh, get to work with uh, this uh, platform that holds your flashlight. And you can listen to music, and you can go ahead and start doing uh, your work on Space Station.
Houston Alpha. That's it for our Saturday morning science.